let's say let's try to use the fan coil fan coil unit so four pi fan coil which is also another uh, zone equipment so i think we can do the combination for the heating we use a reading system for the cooling we use a fan coil for the cooling let's say if this one will work let's uh, let's disable this one first okay so because of this zone uh reading panel it requires both heating and cooling so we are not going to use this one anymore let's delete this one this one we are still using heat pump to generate the chill water and hot water but we can use the baseboard again for the heating and then for the cooling we use a fan coil let's try the fan coil for both heating and cooling for now see if it works uh fan coil we can use a chill water hot water coil and chill water co co chill water coil and this is hot water and chill water so basically we're using the same water for the fan coil unit so it's hot water demand side chill water demand side and when I right click duplicate number input right click duplicate number input so we have eight of them we need eight coils eight coils so we have eight fan coil unit done and in this case we don't need this uh, reading seating construction as well let's remove this one Save and run. All right, now the total value is ninety six. Let's check how many hours. Okay, I guess this system works for both in, uh, both heating and cooling for all those. And now we can just try to play with this system again. So let's turn off the system. Let's see, assume, can we, I think we can turn off, uh, we can hard size this uh, heating coil to zero. So it doesn't use the uh, system at all let's see if we can set the radio capacity to zero and also maximum flow rate to zero in order to turn off the system for the turn off this core for the cooling because we are going to use a to turn off the heating for coil because we are, using, we are going to use a baseboard for the heating so let me block this one let's open the file from previous step this is a baseboard okay Now we have a base port for the heating, but how can we combine them together? Because let's try to do because each room can only have one uh, zone equipment. So 
if we have one or more than one zone equipment for one row, we can use uh, zone zone groups, uh, zone equipment groups. So this is uh, zone equipment to make a group. Let's see. So this this is a one zone, the one equipment group with sixteen objects. Inside. But we want uh, 16 groups. Uh, we can use uh, graph. Right, graph. So in this case, we get eight graphs, and each graph has two objects inside. So this one should match our data structure. So we have eight rooms and eight groups. Uh, a group, each of group has two zone equipment inside. Let's replace this one. And move this one around. Okay. I'll just leave this panel here in case anyone wanna check. Control S, save, you run again. And the issue oh baseboard okay so we can forget to connect the baseboard to hot water yes forgot to connect it to water loop so okay so 16 so we have 16 baseboard oh we have a baseboard and a heat coil for the fan coil even though we turned off but still have to connect to the water loop so we have total coils for uh, on the demand side of the hot water now let's look on again all right we let's check the output um, at our both the heating and the cooling are all fine. See, now we just create a very customized system. So we use a, a SOS heat pump to generate the chill water and hot water. And for the heating, we use a baseboard, and the, the cooling, we use a fan coil unit. So now this shows how flexible we can build a customized system inside the grasshopper with iron bug. Okay, now let's see what if we have adjust the heating and cooling for these A zones. What if we want to add a ventilation system? Add a ventilation system. If we remember from the previous uh, template we got from the uh, radium ceiling, there is uh, electric OS. Let's go inside the cluster and check this OS system. What OS system means is a dedicated outdoor air system. It only uh, provides a fresh air for the zones. It doesn't take care of any heating and cooling load. So now let's try to copy this. So as this is, control C and no. Let's control V. This is a to as system. Now let's remove this. We don't need it anymore. Let's move the original file the bottom so we have enough space for the glass yeah let's see if we can make that cleaner this is a
so we have a do s so we just need to connect a, a zone a symbol zone to do s demand side so there are eight branches for the air loop it, pro it provides the fresh air and now these a zones uh, are no longer no air loop so we don't need this one. We just replace with replace with a real air loop. It runs automatically. Now the system is getting more complex. Did. So it might take some time to process. So if you see, now the total UI goes up to 124. That's because we add we added additional heating and cooling system and fan, heating coil and cooling coil, electric heating coil and cooling coil and fans to maintain the DOA system. So this is uh, 124. So now let's look at the uh, dual system in details. So we have two fans. One is a return fan and one is supply fan, which is fine. But we do find uh, two heating coil and one cooling coil. This is uh, currently it is using the del deluxe expansion. Cooling coil, deluxe expansion, heating coil, and uh, electric heating coil as a uh, backup coil. Uh, I'm thinking, can we use the existing chill water, hot water for this to s system as well? So let's try to use uh, coil heating water for the heating coil, coil cooling water for the cooling coil. Let's disable the simulation first. And remove the yeah, cooling coil, the yeah, heating coil, electric heating, the backup, that's fine. This is the performance uh, parameter for the original heating coil. We, can, we don't need that anymore. So the cooling coil and the heating coil we connect the cooling coil to existing chill water loop. So we will get A branches in this case. That's correct. And heating coil to hot water loop. We will get 17. OK, that's correct. Now we are only using the chill water and the hot water to provide heating and cooling for the DOS system. So the purpose of the uh, using the cooling coil in the DOS is for the dehumidification. Let's see. Uh, let's run the simulation again. All right, now we can see uh, UI drops a little bit from 124, I believe, now it's 119. I guess that's a benefit of using the uh, same hot water and chill water for the DOS system. Let's see, now I have shown you how to build up a complex system step by step. So we can review the system again. Okay? Beginning, we use the heat pump to generate hot water for the baseboard, and then later on, we use the same heat pump system as the heat pump system to generate the uh, chilled water loop, the chilled water, and uh, we replace the, the uh, leading panel with the fan coil unit for the cooling, and we set the heating coil in the fan coil unit with zero capacity which allows the heating 
which allows the baseboard to take care of the heating inside of the thermal, thermal zone and we use uh, uh, zone equipment group to group both zone equipment for one zone and uh, we include the DOS system, the ventilation system which also uses uh, same chill water and the hot water loops and now I think I have covered the, the full step-by-step -step workflows from the beginning, the very simple uh, unit heater as a zone equipment and later on we use a uh, unitary system for the air loop and build a customized air loop to mimic the unitary system and later on we include the hydraulic distribution system and now we use a uh, heat pump for both chill water and hot water loop with zone equipment to take care of the cooling and heating load. We also have the DOS system for ventilation. So the purpose of this tutorial is not only to teach you how to create a, a, a air source heat pump inside Grasshopper, but also to show you how to combine different systems into one customized system based on your requirement and test debug your model with your customized systems. Once you understand the thinking process of building this system, and how each uh, system works together and how to combine into one customized system, later you can you can properly build any systems you want based on engineers mechanical drawing sets all right i hope this video is helpful and uh, and let me know if you have any questions bye